Hi, I'm Sean Panter from Fidelity Factory. Uh, we're going to show you uh, a little bit about a new feature that's just been released this spring for Power Apps Canvas apps. And what we're talking about is the ability to connect your Canvas apps to SharePoint online document libraries. Previously, the only way that you were able to connect to uh, SharePoint using the SharePoint connector from Power Apps Canvas apps was uh, to connect to list data. Uh, so with this addition is going to enable folks to do some more cool things with their Power Apps Canvas apps uh, using data that you have sitting in your document library. So we're going to give you a walkthrough of uh, some of the things that we think are cool and nice about uh, this feature. So we have a Canvas app ready to go. Uh, here is um, our SharePoint connector and uh, we're right now in the middle of connecting to a list. So uh, we have a library over here called Test Docs and I'm going to choose to connect to that. So just like uh, you would have done previously when you make your connection to SharePoint, uh, you're now able to connect to both lists and libraries. All those are presented to you. So there we have our connection. And what I'm going to do now is have a look at that data. So we're going to uh, start off by everyone's favorite, adding a gallery. So we've got this here. And let's connect it to our data source. Test docs. Perfect. And we'll change the layout of this a little bit. Uh, we got our sample image modified and the title isn't really showing us anything so why don't we say modified by and we'll choose the display name so we can see who added the file so right away we can see that we've got uh, the ability to access all the metadata uh, that's associated with our file so that's pretty nice but uh, we've got this image sitting here and uh, what are we going to do with it in our gallery we want to we want to take advantage of that so we'll go to add this item and we'll go for our collection of thumbnails. So we'll get our medium sized thumbnail. Maybe the small would be even better. So pretty cool, right? Uh, nice that we're able to connect to the library that easily, reveal the metadata, list the files, and then actually uh, present uh, thumbnail image of the file. So instead of having to um, try and get a full uh, large size image, if you are working with images in libraries, all those thumbnails are created for you, which makes your app run much quicker. Uh, so that's really nice. And just to further that example a little bit, we will, uh, why don't we insert an image and make this look even nicer. So we'll go to our gallery two we'll get the selected item from that gallery and then let's put a large format of that image up here so we can actually really get a look at how those images look so we run our app we can see some nice details here all these images that we've got stored in this document library so that is really cool uh, one other thing that we thought would be good to show uh, if we add a button in here. So let's say, for example, you're working with uh, your gallery, you find an item in the library that you'd like to show, you maybe want to do something after that. So let's create a variable. We'll store the selected document from the gallery. into a variable. So as we run this again, we can pick a document. In this case, it's an image. And then we click that button, it's going to save uh, the details of that selected item into a variable. Well, let's go look and see what we've got there. If we go into our collection of variables, the selected document, here's our record. And look at all this information we've got about this particular file from within that library. So you can see there's extensive metadata available uh, around that. So we can see information about the author, more details about the file. So there's all that metadata uh, that's available. 
So pretty cool stuff. Uh, lots of lots you can do with this. Uh, there's our there's our thumbnail uh, that we're working with in our example. Uh, we thought this was a uh, you know a really nice addition, and this would be a good good example uh, for you as you begin working with this and might uh, spark some ideas. So hopefully you enjoyed the video, and uh, happy building with Power Apps Canvas Apps.